This is how you make um, dusky pink, sort of a vintage pink. It's gorgeous. It's my most popular colour. Now the pastes are very different than the gels. Um, as you can see how much thicker they are. And you literally need the tiniest amount. And I mean tiny. And when you use these pastes, you need to work them into the buttercream first. So if you just put that straight in there and started mixing, you'll have lots of little black lines. So you work it into a tiny bit of the mixture on the side here. Work it into, you don't see any of the little sort of black concentrated bits of colour. So work that in. Like that till it's all gone and it's all sort of blended there. Check there's no dark streaks. Then you can mix it into your the rest of the buttercream. You get a gorgeous dusky pink. Let's say if you do it straight off you'll end up with loads of like little black lines all over it. It's horrible. So that's the dusky pink. Now that colour is gorgeous but if you want it slightly lighter you could either add some more buttercream or some Wilton whitener or if you want it darker just add a tiny bit more of the um, paste but remember to work it into the side first then then use it this is pro gel pink um, the pro gels are my favorite um, type of coloring you can use the tiniest amount or the, a lot to make a really deep pink so if you want like a light pink you add the tiniest amount. Like there. Now if you want it a little bit darker, add a bit more. There is no aftertaste with these pink, this food colour in, so don't be scared to use it. Slightly darker. If you want it even more darker than that, add a bit more. Here you have that gorgeous cerise pink. So that's how easy it is to get really good depth of colour with the Pro Gels. This is Pro Gel Purple. You can um, achieve a really pale lilac right through to a Cadbury's Purple with this. So. If you want something that's really, really pale, add the tiniest amount, and I mean tiny, and then add a bit of Wilton whitener, otherwise if you don't add some whitener, it ends up being um, like a sort of dirty, dirty purple. You see how little amount I use then? So there's a lilac, and if you want it darker, again, just add a bit more. So there's no aftertaste, so don't be scared to use it. There's a dark purple, if you want the Cadbury's, add some more. There's that gorgeous Cadbury's purple. Beautiful. Pro Gel Yellow, this will make you a lovely lemon shade right up to a bright luminous yellow. So again, always start with the smallest amount first, especially if you don't want it really, really dark. Now a small amount I've got in there, it's literally two tiny drips. Gorgeous yellow. Again, if you don't want it that light, add a touch of whitener or add more buttercream, one or the other. Again, you only need drips of it, tiny amount. You've got that lovely lemon colour now. That's how easy it is to use. And then if you want it really bright, add some more. There's your really vibrant yellow.
gorgeous yellow. This is Pro Gel Olive Green. Now this is the only green I use because I think it's the most natural looking green. All the others are too sort of fake green. You can go to all different shades of this. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is the only one I use. I always do a good squirt of this because I like it sort of like a deep green. And literally within seconds, you've got the nicest natural green. And so I find the others too sort of artificial because I'm going for realism all the time. These are the closest to real leaves. So that's one shade, lovely. You can add a bit more to go a bit darker. Again, there's no taste, so don't be scared to use it. And there's the darker shade, absolutely gorgeous. So that's the most natural looking one. That's Pro Gel Olive Green.